Well, now, do you usually find savings one of the toughest tasks that you usually achieve? And by the way, if you were to save, then you really strain and you sometimes don't even achieve your goal. Okay, now today and on, on this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple formula to actually go ahead and save a whooping 145,000 Kenyan shillings. You know, 145,000 Kenyan shillings in a very easy way. And guess what? It is actually what we call it is stress free and it easily doing so. And by the way, guess what? I know this isn't a matter of shillings. By the way, this formula is applicable to any type of a currency that you're using. Whether you're using Kwacha, if you're watching from Zambia, Rand, if you're watching from South Africa, Naira, from Nigeria, Bid, from Ethiopia, dollars from the US, whatever the currency that you're using, the formula is applicable to any currency. All right, long, let's get to the business. But don't forget to do this, all right? I've seen some of you actually watching my videos without subscribing. There is a small button written subscribe down below there. Hit that magical button and also like this video. That's like telling me, hey, Joseph, thank you for what you're doing, all right? By the way, one qualification of you to actually go ahead and achieve this formula is just watching this video to the end, all right? Just like 13 minutes enough for you, all right? Let's get to the business now. Here we are. We have 145,000 Kenyan shillings and the money that we want to save in this year 2024. And again, guess what? We can as well save less than that. Light is around 75,000 Kenyan shillings around that can come out of money. The point is, if you can manage this, then you can do with this one, all right? But let's just assume this one, I didn't even indicate it. The target is this one, all right? So what exactly do we do? Remember one thing, we have two types of people. We have either A, we have an individual who paid per month, all right? We have somebody who say they are paid monthly. And then we have those guys who usually say they are paid daily, or sometimes we have people who are paid weekly, all right? depends it doesn't matter who you are the point of the target is 145,000 now how exactly do you do this is what the formula that is applies okay this is what you're supposed to apply one thing that you're supposed to understand a week is made up of seven days one two three four five six seven all right that is a whole week all the way from monday to what to sunday all right that's how that a week is made up of the things okay now, the point is, what exactly do you do? Let's say maybe you actually pay daily because obviously most of the guys who watch my videos, actually these are guys who usually get paid daily, some paid monthly, whichever the case. I'm going to solve cases for both of you or for all of you. Now, this is what happens. Now, you give yourself a target on the day one or the Monday, you actually go ahead and save your 100 Kenyan shillings, just 100 Kenyan shillings, whichever. You can call it rand, you can call whatever the thing that you want to save out there, all right? You save 100, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe 100 USD per day is quite big for you. Maybe five is applicable or maybe 10 is applicable. Because if I was to convert this 100 to, in terms of dollars, this one is less than a dollar, by the way, 100. Right now, as we speak, uh, the, the shilling is actually being crushed by a dollar. We are talking about 162. So whichever is apl apl applicable for you, go for exactly that, okay? That is day one, that is on Monday. On Tuesday, you actually double this amount of money and you save 200. And then that day, you double or that amount of money, all right? You multiply by the corresponding number. That is four times that 100, which makes a 100, 400. That is 100 times five, makes it 500. 100 times six, give it 600. 100 times seven, you give it what? A 700, all right? Now, what exactly have you achieved? If you were to actually go ahead and add all these together, if you add all these together, I've done the mathematics, you will end up with something called 2,800 Kenyan shillings out there at the end of the week. All right. Now, this now answers the question of well, how about those guys who actually earn weekly? If you earn weekly, then it means that you ought to save this amount of money for you to achieve this target. And it will be simple. It will be 145,000 or rather it will be 22,800 multiplied by 56, 52 because in a week or rather in an year, we usually have 52 weeks right now that is formula a now this is the point now what do you do for the next week for example right now i'm making this video on 28th of on 28th of uh, january okay that means we are down four weeks so you ought to have saved 2,800 multiplied by 4 because a week is ought to save 2,800. Now, what do you do the next week? The next week, you don't proceed with 700, 800. No, what you do, you go back to square one. You save 100, you save 200, you save 300, all the way to 700. Now you have your 2,800 Kenyan shillings. Now, the point is this. The reason as why I'm coming back to square one, saving 100, is because you want to give yourself what you call the breathability allowance, all right? For example, hey, as you move towards the end of the week it becomes a little bit tougher and by the way if you the next week you call back to the day one you're actually gonna get yourself that you know allowance to breathe let's say maybe you do not have the capacity to go ahead and save this amount of money per day you can have this amount of money meaning on the day one you can save 50 day two you can save 50 
or rather 100 not 50 you can save 100 day 3 you can save 150 day 4 you can save 200 see i'm adding 50 50 50 that is an addition of 50 all right on day 5 you can actually save 250 day 6 you can save 300 and day 7 you can actually do what save 350 kenyan shillings so what exactly has happened you have actually halved the amount because we are all made up of different uh, you know what we call uh, we don't have the equal capacity and uh, maybe let's say our responsibilities differs from one person to the other so now that is the formula that you can actually go ahead and use now if you were to add up all this amount of money if you were to add up all this amount of money together guess what we have at the end of the day we're gonna have what we call 1400 basically half of that of we ought to have half of head if you were to save the 100 that i had you know shared initially so now this uh 1400 this is 1400 per week now what exactly do we do we say 1400 1400 multiplied by 52 that gives you like 75,000 if i'm not wrong you can confirm it okay now that is exactly how you can be able to achieve that specific formula now guess what happens because I actually find most of the people say, hey, oh, it's tough to save and all those kind of things. How exactly do I do or how do I go about it? And I understand how it goes out there. But now this, this is what uh, applies. I know this one solves the equations or the question of people who earn daily and as well as the weekly. Now, what happens if you earn monthly? All right. Let's say you earn monthly and maybe you earn like 40,000 at the end of the month. 40,000, 40K or maybe let's say, yeah, just say 40,000. By the way, did you agree that I'll be using 40,000 as the salary? Absolutely. Now, if you earn 40,000, if you were to save at least 20% of this, then it means that you're saving 8,000 at the end of the month. So if you were to say 8,000 at the end of the month, divide this by four, because obviously we surely have how many? We surely have uh, four weeks in a month. So that means that you're getting ourselves 2,000. So 2,000 is slightly below 2,800 that we can actually go ahead and achieve this. So therefore, it means simply you'll be slightly below these goal so how exactly do you do it it's not a must that you go ahead and then do all those kind of things no maybe let's say you have a template that is guiding you on how to go ahead and save this amount of money okay but if you do not have then you can take this 2800 you save it okay let's say day one the first person saved the 100 the 200 the whatever the whatever by the time they're saving this amount of money by the fourth week probably yourself you have not saved anything because you have not gotten any salary but immediately after getting your salary guess what now happens you can channel your 2000 towards your savings and this is what I want you to understand. Once you get this amount of money, the savable amount of money, you do not just save it somewhere where it's just lying idle in a bank. What you do, you channel this money and I usually suggest MMF. And I know you've heard of me talking about this thing like the rest of my life. So as far as the YouTube is concerned, uh, MMF. Okay, so MMF is a unit trust so you can channel this money. And I believe each and every country has this thing called MMF. Okay, so if you can channel that amount of money there, you're not only getting the 145,000, but this amount of money is also subjected to a certain percentage. And this MMF actually earns a profit each and every day we call it interest not a profit it earns an interest each and every day so that interest actually accumulated each and every time so tell me at the end of the year god willing if you can be able to raise that amount of money or maybe let's say seventy-five thousand, or if maybe say case of this forty thousand, you're able to raise this amount of money so if uh, it's twelve thousand, so it will be twelve thousand multiplied by twelve or rather it will be two thousand multiplied by twelve that will be you can do the mathematics all right you can do the mathematics that will be like uh 12,000 times uh, times uh, times 2, all right? That would be like 24,000. Is it whatever? You guys do the mathematics. You know, if you save 2,000 per month eh, and then you have like 12 months in a year, you have like 24,000 if I'm not wrong or something of that. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, the point is you might actually go ahead and save way less than this amount of guys who are doing so. But the point is at least you've saved something i know this is a bit steep if you are to save 2800 per week and this guy is saving 2000 uh, per month i know you might have that discrepancies in terms of hey you might you might achieve way less than them but the fact remains at least you've done something you see by the way i think this is my third formula that i'm sharing i'm sharing with you on how you can actually save there was a first formula that i shared with you about saving a shilling a day with the corresponding days if it's day two you save two shillings if it's day three you save three shillings i've been sharing all those kind of information i also shared another formula on 
how you can be able to save uh, a challenge of a hundred thousand by the way the, the shilling the shilling in the corresponding a day actually is summing up to around sixty six thousand eight hundred around there i've also shared another formula about challenging yourself into saving a hundred k now this is another formula about on how you can be able to save this amount of money or you can save this amount of money especially if you are out there and usually employed each and every day so i usually say hey pick that what you can move with it so that at least you can be able to achieve something because at the end of the day we ought to save something and remember one thing nobody has ever become wealthy by the virtue of savings that's for sure what we do is that we not only save we save we accumulate we store the money we raise the capital we invest we create another source of income we repeat the procedure we expand we automate and actually provide ourselves the systems that works for us that's how you grow yourself all right now my part is shocked as, as i finish this video is this if you would like to go ahead and do something as far as, as far as your life is concerned remember one thing all this thing cannot just be achieved by just you know waking up early in the morning and doing exactly so what you need to do is to have yourself a working budget and the working budget you need to have what we call a discipline all right because for example if you say you're going to be saving this amount of money each and every day so what does it mean it means that obviously you have to understand your numbers for example as you draw towards the end of the week guess what per day you ought to save 600 the last day of the week that is on sunday all right it depends on how you read it i know some people say it's on saturday whichever let's not bring those conspiracies here the point is if you say you want you would like to save uh, 700 per day so it all depends for example say maybe you want like a thousand bob and uh, the, uh, the day seven you ought to save 700 then it means that you have to survive on 300 again it may be log it may, it may not be logical that's why i'm saying provide that works for you but at all the occasion ask yourself is this the best that i can ever do because when i open that door and i say hey work with that what works for you uh definitely you might justify yourself and say hey i'm gonna save 200 on but, but, but the fact is are you doing justice to yourself and, and and that's why i always tell people hey anyway do that works for you if you do that work for so if, if you do that works for you at the end of the day you're actually gonna realize some of the greatest thing as far as the investments are concerned so anyway the point is this guys that marks the end of my video and if you would like to get a template about saving with that formulas and many others you can always pick that number of mine from the description of this specific video let's talk businesses all right that copy goes only for 200 Kenyan shillings. And again, if you'd like to get my services, you know, premium services, a customized or tailored services for you, not just a, not generalized information, pick that number of mine from the description of this specific video. Let's talk business. That's how we do. Remember one thing, just like an iron sharpens another iron. So do we learn from each other at all the occasion? Try to strive. Do the best that you can. By the way, I know... The week, I mean, the year is not yet old. You can do something about it. And by, I'm going to leave you with this question. We are on the 28th of January. It depends on when you are watching the video. Maybe you're going to watch this video after. Maybe whatever the time you're watching this video. The fact remains, what have you done and what exactly are you doing right now so that at least you can change and transform your life as far as the finance is concerned? What exactly are you doing? Don't answer that question in the comment section. That's a rhetoric question. Answer yourself and ask yourself, is what, what you're doing is actually the best? Is this the best that you can ever do? Then if it is the best, then congratulations. If it is not, pull up your socks. That's what we used to be told back when we were in primary schools. Anyway, for now, it's a goodbye. But don't forget, see you in the next one. And by the way, if it's your first time watching my videos, my name is Joseph. Talk about money, talk about investment, anything related to your cash. This is a place where you call home. And that's why I've told you at the beginning of this video, hit that like button and also comment down below. Tell me what you think. For now, it's a goodbye. See you in the next one.